I'm about to show you eight mind-blowing effects to instantly level up your content in DaVinci Resolve. This is gonna be the video that I wish I had when I first started editing five years ago. So open up your software and follow along with me. Number one, how to get a cinematic look in one click. Now, I'm not joking when I say this. In DaVinci Resolve, we have this clip right here, and all I'm gonna do is take it to the color page. Now, this is my power grade, and I have my whole power grade just ready to go. Um, now, the thing that's gonna make your footage gonna be cinematic in one click is gonna be called this node called Film Look Creator. Now, you do need to be in DaVinci Resolve Studio 20 or above. All I'm gonna do is simply drag and drop this on my footage, and you can already see we're getting cinematic looks. Now, I like to change the preset down to about 35 millimeters, and there's so many different things you can change. You can change the color blend. You can change the effects blend. You can actually change what you want it to look like. So you can do vintage, cinematic, and so many other different options that just will, like it can fit your vibe. I personally like cinematic and what I like to do is actually turn the color blend halfway and come down to the utilization and just turn it off. I like to also come to the bloom and unenable the bloom, but I like to come to the grain and turn the grain up just a tad bit. This is gonna give it that like cinematic hazy look. The flicker, I personally don't like the flicker, but other than that guys, I keep everything the same. These are my settings that I use and I'll show you guys a before and after. So if we hit command F, you could see a before and after on this. It literally gives your, your subject, like look at the cinematic tones before and after over here. Like, it's just so good. And I would argue to say that the best part is this is the most realistic film grain that you can also get in DaVinci Resolve. Number two, recording audio in DaVinci Resolve. Now, a lot of people like to film voiceovers and they do it themselves separately. But did you know that there is this button right here? It's literally clear as day. You hit voiceover and look, you could see my voice moving right now because I'm talking into the mic but I can literally just hit record and it's gonna give me a three, two, one, and I can voice over my video that's already edited. It's going to record my audio down here for me. This trick is literally mind blowing. Number three, the deactivate button. So the deactivate button is going to essentially be able to deactivate clips. So all I have to do is click the clip that I don't want being rendered in at the, at the time right now and hit D on the keyboard. What this is gonna do is save your computer's GPU and all the techy stuff. But essentially what I could do is let's say that this is in the beginning of my video and it's taxing on me editing the rest of my video all i have to simply do is just highlight all of these and then hit deactivate and it will no longer make my computer laggy anymore aka making me edit faster another great part about it is if you are looking to go into this adjustment clip right here and your these emojis are in the way Obviously right here, I could just do this, but let's say the emojis are the length of this. All you have to do is deactivate these and now you could just go into the adjustment clip with the fusion page. It's a very small tool, but I use this tool every single time I open up a project file and it's just something that I think you guys should know. Number four, playback resolution. Now this one is also gonna help your computer's uh, GPU and all that tech stuff. This is going to essentially lower your quality of your video. So by doing that, you're gonna go to playback, you're gonna go to timeline resolution, and you're gonna go to quarter. Now this is going to make your, your text and everything you're using look super laggy and glitchy. The frame rate is gonna be super low. So as you can see, it looks really laggy. Really what it's doing is it's saving your computer so you can work on higher quality projects. If you aren't in high desire to actually have high quality videos while you're editing, but the best Part is you can come back to playback and go to timeline resolution and render it back in full right before you're done rendering as you can see now it's back to normal or if you want to get a quick preview really quickly this has saved my computer countless hours of lagging and loading and stuff like that number five power bins guys i can't stress this enough this is easily one of my most used tools in today's video um so power bins are going to be basically you are storing effects that you are going to use in previous timelines or future timelines so how to get that effect is you are going to go into the three lines and hit show power bins now as you can see these power bins are right here to the left and you when you first check mark it you will have no bins in here so all you have to do is just double click and create and make a new bin okay so i'm gonna make my new bin text effects because let's say you want to save text effects instead of remaking this slide up glitch animation all you have to do is drag and drop it into this bin right here in every project file that you open up moving forward that slide up glitch effect will be in that project file as a drag and drop preset and this is a good time to mention that i've actually made 250 plus preset text animations that will be in the first link in the description just to basically all around speed up your workflow so go check it out but when i say these have sped up my workflow like i can't stress it enough guys 
guys, I use these power bins every single project file and they have saved me so much time. I'm talking days of editing. And that is not a joke. Number six, swapping different timelines. So instead of coming out of this project file and going back into this Apple pack that I actually just released, what you could do is right click on the project file that you want to use and hit dynamic project switching. So now when you come into this new reel that I'm working on right now, all you have to do is hit this drop down window and just hit Apple pack and it will automatically load you back into the Apple pack, which is my new pack. So all I have to do is now just come in here, copy and paste this, come back here, go to new desk reel and then copy it. And now I'm already done. And I have all the presets that I use in my new Apple pack, just like that already done. Number seven, wavy text in seconds. So to get this wavy text right here that you're seeing on screen in just seconds is honestly so easy. It should be illegal. All you have to do is drag down a text plus I have my text here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out to open effects and search for fast noise. I'm going to add fast noise onto my timeline and it's going to just be black and gray and come up to the presets and go to water surface. Now it's going to be a little too extreme. So come to the scale and turn the scale up to about 1.8, then come to the contrast and turn the contrast down to about one 0.1. And now if you play it, you have this wavy text in seconds. And the reason why I love this effect is because if you try to do this effect in fusion page, it would take you countless nodes in just waste of time. Number eight, the elastic trick. Now the elastic trick is going to be the most complex, which is why I left it as a last, but guys, these are just cool text effects that I'm going to leave you guys. So I'm just going to leave this text as like a cool cool title and I'm just going to type out elastic. I'm going to go into the fusion page with this text title. And as you can see, we have this size right here. All we have to do is right click on the size and go to modify with and hit anim curves. This is going to open up this modifier tab over here. We're going to come to the curve and go to easing and come to the out and go to elastic. This is the elastic that I'm talking about. Now, if you play it, it's going to be a little long and also way too big. So come back to the modifiers, go to scaling and change the scale to 0.1. And now this is already going to make it look better. Now we just have to change the time scale, speed it up just a little bit. So boom, if we speed it up just a little bit, so like maybe like 2.5, we have this cool bouncy elastic text effect. Now that's it guys. Those are eight mind blowing tricks in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you guys at least learned one thing genuinely. That's my goal for this video. And actually, I'm just so grateful you were able to click on this video and trust me to teach you eight cool new effects. Go check out my all-in-one bundle because it saves me hours of time. So why not you go ahead and save hours of time? Praise the Lord, man. I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys. Stay blessed up. Jesus is King.